Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Danganronpa, another episode Ultra Despair Girls, continuing from where we left off. So we need to have a look around here and talk to some of the people inside, see if they've got anything to say, and possibly look for some shinies as well before we go and speak to Haiji, and uh, he showed uh, shows us where this secret weapon is that he's had hidden all this time. Okay. Or secret trump card. Hmm? I brighten up when I see your rack. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Now, didn't I have some that I wasn't able to give her last time because it wouldn't let me, so let's just hand them over and see what she says. I haven't found any in a while, though. Heh, <laughs> one for herself. Let's see what she says about this. So I may as well read it out again because it's been a while. So even though it was a nurse before, it's really an evil demon who devours hospital patients. They say it was really naughty even when it was older. It has a weird thing about its son, so lure it out with a picture of it or something. Hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> I bet you got the blood pumping, that's for sure, in a certain area. You're right. <laughs> Nothing. Crazy hair. Hmm. But because he's not the sharpest <laughs> tool in the toolbox. Next on the list. A well-known demon that used to be in an idol group. It's a dangerous demon who makes boy demons fall in love with its sweet smell. Look at that expression though. <laughs> Devours men whole. It has a temper because it always got put in the corner on stage. So it's super crazy now. That side of it is also kind of cute though could it be what's going on hmm Hmm. 
Ha! So it ties in. I see. I didn't recognise her actually. That's a term, is it? Just like I call you guys, my team GGK. And? Yeah, you won't be thinking she's so amazing if you knew what actually happened between her and your brother. Jeez. So what happens? Does she actually go out and find them or something? Because I've not seen anything happen from giving these in yet. It's cute on the outside, but inside it's all slimy and yucky. If you let your guard down and get too close, it'll eat you. Lure it out with gyoza food and burn it to ash with a fire attack. It might look like a cat, but cat food doesn't work, so pick the right food. Hmm. How can you hate that furry face? <laughs> You're right. Hey, hey. You could take it in. Nothing. I think it looks cute. Slightly grumpy, but cute nonetheless. Alright, let's just have a look around and make sure there's no new shinies lying about. Go over here as well. Some people want to talk around here, so let's go ahead and speak with them, I guess. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps looking at your head. <laughs> it's creepy. You're cooler. No, you are. Stop it. You're making me blush. Just making sure there's nothing hidden hidden about around.
Yeah. Um. Stop your whining and step up. Um, uh, no. It's far too suspicious. Um. I hope so too, Toko. I hope so too. I think that's it, guys. I think we should just talk to Haiji now. We're good to go, Haiji. Let's do this. Well, looks like the Monokumas are easing off a bit. Now's a good time to head out. Um, where are we going? Didn't I tell you? The place where our trump card is hidden. And just what the hell is this trump card? And why didn't you say anything about it earlier? I'm not trying to be cryptic. It's just hard to explain in words. It's much easier if you see it with your own eyes. Then you'll understand. I promise. You sound like some manga protagonist from the 90s. Anyway, it's our last hope for stopping the kids before it gets any worse. If there's one thing I know for sure, this is our last shot. No pressure. Something like that really exist? I'm telling you because I trust you guys. And I need you two to trust me as well. Ah, so not only are you chicken, you're also a narcissistic bastard. <laughs> However, getting there is going to be a problem. Let me think. You look like you're in better shape than her. I'll leave this to you. Me and Four Eyes will go in the back. It'll be cramped, but we'll have to deal with it for now. What do you mean, leave it to me? Listen, it's important that you don't freak out. If you don't, we should be fine. It's not an explanation. <laughs> no, He's no, it's not. not. To freak out, I don't really get it, but you should prepare yourself. Wait, I haven't mentally prepared myself yet. Enough with the complaints. Let's just go. Oh, a motorbike. That's awesome. Enough with the complaints. Let's go. <laughs> I thought you'd be the one freaking out, Kamaru. I've never ridden one of these before. This is so fun. Ooh, why is Kamaru the one driving? She doesn't even have a license. Look, hang on a second. Just look how high her skirt's gone up her legs. Like she's actually, you can see pretty much almost the ass. If that knee wasn't there, you'd see her underwear. <laughs> I can't drive with my arm like this. It's not like cops are going to pull us over or something. Y you're right, but... Hey, listen. We never know when the Monokumas might attack next. Let's speed it up. Roger! <laughs> <laughs> She's having way too much fun on that motorbike. <laughs> All right. We're here. We are? Where are we? Uh, are you taking us to a secluded spot to, to do stuff with us? If that's your plan, hurry up and get it over with. I won't resist. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. Especially not with you. I, uh, I like him younger. 
as young as possible. What? As young as possible? I hope it's still within women being legal, mate. Actually, can I leave now? <laughs> yeah, Kamaru, you should be scared right about now. Maybe you're his type. Anyway, it's time. Careful of where you stand. If you talk, you might bite your tongue. Oh, secret elevator. You'd never expect such an elaborate machine here, right? That's how you know it's important. This is Toa Group's secret factory, after all. Secret factory? This place was restricted to top executives only. During emergencies, the restrictions get tougher. Now, the only ones who can move this elevator are me and my old man. I see. So not even the brats can get into this place. Awesome. But then, wouldn't it have been better to hide all the adults inside here? Wouldn't that have been safer? Or can the Monokumas still get in? I don't know. You would assume it would be safer? Um, isn't it about time you tell us what you're hiding here? I've told you already. It's our last hope. But yeah, but that doesn't explain anything, Haiji. Inside this factory. However, we do have a bit of a problem. It's the reason I was hesitant to come here in the first place. What? Just say it. In order to deter intruders and thieves, our family uses monokumas to guard the area. Huh. Monokumas? All right, okay, well that answers my question. That's why it's not safe for people to come down here. Ever since the riot, we haven't been able to contact the office that controls them. To what I can guess, the Monokumas here had the control functions broken. Bet they would even attack me like I was any other adult. Okay, just wait. Slow down a sec. Why are the Monokumas here in the first place? Didn't the kids bring them? Yeah, I expected this reaction. But you'll know the answer to that question as well once we're through here. You... you're being awfully suspicious. Yeah, probably. I even think so myself. <laughs> yeah, but you can stop yourself from being suspicious. Explain more! Stop being so mysterious now, and try to be cool. Please trust me? I'm begging you. You two are the only ones who can make it through here. You have to help. Oh, how the tables have turned. Not long ago, you were throwing us in a prison cell, accusing us of being spies. Now you're begging for our help. There's no way I can do it alone. But I'm not just going to abandon the hope that's in here. I took your words to heart. That I need to fight back. No giving up. Hi, G. Toko, why don't we just try going there for now? I mean, we've gone this far already. If he does anything I don't like along the way, I'm turning around and leaving. That sounds fair to me. The trump card is deep inside this factory. We need to take the elevator to the bottom floor. Well, let's hope he doesn't get killed, because he just said he's the only one that can activate the elevator, so... The alarm goes off. You should have said that earlier. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, these look like Shirakumas. So we should probably kill that one first, shouldn't we? Defeat the siren. Monokuma. Or else he'll just keep coming. Um. Oh my God! Look how little bullets I've got.
I so need bullets, guys. This is why I've had quite a few retries on this chapter, because I've had Don't low bullets lasers, for a okay? while now. Sorry. I'll make sure they don't touch me this time around. Right, finally a save spot, guys. So, I ended up messing up a few times there. I'm going to have to be a lot more careful. I'm not good at stealth, though. And this kind of ties in with being stealthy, which I completely suck at. So, yeah, there's that. Where do we go from here? There's no... Well, there's a shiny. What was the incident all about? Though the tragedy that painted the world with despair showed signs of calming after the death of the ringleader, it has not completely settled. However, in light of current events, shouldn't we look back at what the tragedy can teach us and prepare for preventive measures? A thorough investigation to the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of mankind. Which reminds me... Wow, that sucks. I see. tried to give you a nickname Toko but you didn't like it Stop it Well, let's take this moment to save our game, and I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite, and share. It really does help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching, guys.